listening from above on a beautiful day here in South Florida. Well, the weekend obviously is in full swing, and so is the NBA. Hey, thanks for joining us on 2K Sports. Alongside Greg Anthony and Steve Smith with David Aldridge on the sideline, this is Kevin Harlan. DA, it's all yours. Kevin, thanks very much. Last season, LeBron James set a career high in assists. And he said the assist has always been his favorite. LeBron said, it gives my teammates an opportunity to score. And that's what's always mattered to me. And that team first mentality is just a big part of who LeBron is. Kevin? Always looking to bring his guys with him. <laughs> Thanks, David. And now the Lakers starting group. LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Green is out there with Avery Bradley. And it's McGee in at the five down low. And for Miami, they've got Jimmy Butler. Derek Jones is out there with Bam Adebayo. Then it's Robinson, and it's none in at the point guard. Two terrific defenses tonight, Greg. They do it in a variety of ways. It's been hard for either team to score. You know, strong on ball, in help, in transition, and both coaches doing such a great job of making the adjustments. And listen, the reality is defense still can be a factor in determining who wins and who loses. And we're seeing it right before our eyes. Now, here's Green. Here's LeBron. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. That's how you want to finish. LeBron busting it over the defender with authority. Outside Butler. Down low. McGee with the block. And it's the Lakers on the break. LeBron is running. And the dunk by James. The defender gets caught in a bad position. LeBron powerful enough to convert through contact. Let's see what he does at the line. You know, even though LeBron doesn't go 100% every minute of every game in the season, GA, he still knows when to turn it on. And for someone at his age, that is something you have to know how to do. You can see when LeBron kicks it into that What's next up? gear. Can't keep it on all the time, but he's still able to take over when he needs to. Free throw good, James. You know, Steve, one thing you admire about LeBron, how he shapes a possession for his team. He'll create situations where he, he gets a mismatch or, or helps his teammate find one. You know, Kevin, LeBron will use his high screens to just kind of shuffle defenders, make them think. Once he sees an opportunity, he'll pounce all over it. You can see him do this the most at the end of close games. Here's Robinson following the basket by LeBron James. Outside Butler. Floats one up. That doesn't go, and he's 0-1 from the field. Here's Davis. Count that bucket. You see the weight that 80s added to his frame over the years. Now invites contact. Bradley against none. Ball's knocked loose and stolen by LeBron. Here's Davis and finished off by Davis. And you can see their strategy coming in. They want to control the paint. This is my type of approach. Get some high percentage looks. Then later, you can play inside out. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. And just trying to get some traction offensively. Boy, it hasn't been pretty. You know, this is a good time to maybe switch up your strategy a little bit. You can't keep doing what you're doing and expect a different result. out of sorts in the last few possessions and this is when you need to be patient find a high percentage shot and have some floor balance now here's none 
Six on the shot clock. Great T that time from Davis. He goes up strong, but he is met with resistance. I think that surprised him a little bit. Took the opportunity when he saw it. Oh, great ball movement there. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Here's none. They can't buy one. 0 for 4. Sometimes this happens. And Davis puts it in. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. None kicks to Robinson. Left side, Butler. And Davis sends it back. Good job by AD, not giving up on the play. Oh, that was something else. That was nasty. And this is how you fire up your teammates. LeBron with a 10 on that timeout, one. Timeout. timeout called the Heat. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. Just under three and a half minutes played. Lakers leading by 18. Green up on top. Guarded by Robinson. And Green gets it to go. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on body. Butler finds none. They need this, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. It's his first trip to the line. First one falls for him. So he gets them both. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Davis. Lakers working the ball around now. The shot's good from McGee. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. None looking around. Butler against Davis. He can't get that one, and the Lakers take it the other way. Outside Brantley. They kick it out to Green. Trying to get open is Davis. Offensive rebound. And Davis throws it down. Beating everyone to the board using his length, his skill set, the big fella AD getting it done. None passes to Robinson. Here's Butler. Buries it down low. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the rim. And the pass to James. Banked in off the glass. James has got 11. 
Five of five to start. I think he's in the zone. Davis against Butler. Pass to Robinson. Adebayo with the elbow. Rebounded by McGee. Los Angeles leading by 22. Davis the pass to LeBron. Oh, and he misses the dunk. And he's going up for the alley-oop. And Jones slams it in. Absolutely the prettiest play in basketball executed to perfection. I don't think you'd get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. Now here's LeBron. He's got 11. They double him without a bio. Just five on the clock. Bradley can't get it to go. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Passes it to Autobio. And here is Butler. And stolen by James. Here's Bradley. And he caps off the fast break with a monster slam. The quick, powerful hands of LeBron gets the steal, gets them off in transition. Pass to Robinson. Back to Butler. Oh, and the jam by Butler. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. Lakers leading by 20. Time so out, time timeout out. called here, the first for Los Angeles. Started. You know, Greg, we know there's some power finishers in the NBA like Giannis Antetokounmpo, but he complains a lot that he needs to sell contact rather than muscle through it. How do you evaluate those kind of power finishers in the game? Well, I mean, their skill, power will always play a role, especially when you can add in quickness and athleticism. And I think you start right there with Giannis. I mean, he's kind of epitomizes that. LeBron obviously is still in that category. And a guy like Kawhi Leonard, he can send you into the stanchion when he gets going downhill as well. Los Angeles will go for a different look here. White Howard's checked in for JaVale McGee. Kyle Kuzma comes in for James. Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for Danny Green. Ajan Rondo subbed in for Avery Bradley. Now here's Caldwell Pope. Rondo with the ball. No good on that one. Good work defensively by Crowder. And here's Iguodala outside. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Such a sweet stroke from Andre on the three ball. Always a danger to light it up from there. Outside Rondo with some arc. And it's Miami with the rebound. Now here's Dragic. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. And that takes skill and the ability to make adjustments as you're going up. And the Lakers making a change here. Morris has checked One in. And that one falls for Dragic. And Goran Dragic last season coming off the bench for the first time in his eight years in the league really excelled in that six-man role. He did. He's a guy who creates his own offense. He's also a guy who can organize the reserves and keep things flowing. All about finding ways to continue to flourish. And he did it. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. For Los Angeles, they have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. Definitely an area where they can improve. Only 73% as a team from the line last Let's year. Stop. Free throw good for Morris. And it's the Heat with the ball. 17-point game. Now the pass to Olenek. And a miss there on the triple. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. 
Dragic finds Crowder. Back to Dragic. Over Rondo. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And here's Caldwell Pope. He brings it up for Los Angeles. Pass to Kuzma. Outside Rondo. For the three. That one, no good. And Miami the other way now. Iguodala deciding where to go with it. Kicks to Olenek to the left side wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Dragic gets the bucket. This is what you do when your opponents try to take away the three and the painted area. Caldwell Pope outside. Kuzma outside. Intercepted. Here's Hero. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. Olenek dishes to Dragic. Elbow shot is on the way. And it's good for two. Dragic has got his third basket of the night right there. Los Angeles leading by 13. Rondo kicks to Caldwell Pope. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And for Contavious Caldwell Pope, he's best when he lets the game come to him, when he's not forcing shots, not making things tough on himself, not making tough passes. Uh, you know, Smitty, a simple approach does wonders for him. Kevin, you applaud the maturity of KCP to realize that he knew he needed to change Shoot his two. game to improve. Focusing on making the easy play has made him a very valuable member of this team. And he knocks down the first one. Greg, so many people know your story. Born and raised in Las Vegas. It must have been an amazing feeling then to lead UNLV to its only championship. I mean, Kevin, you know, playing in front of so many people you know has its pros and cons. Right. But to be a part of that 1990 championship team and the only one we've been able to hoist and to have my jersey hanging in that rafter, it's humbling and... Yes, it brings back a lot of fond memories. Like historically good, right? When you think of that team, what that meant, uh, it has a historic place. It, it does. We felt like we were able to etch our mark in terms of the lures of the game of college basketball. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And he's all over that shot. Has it read the whole way and gets the position he needs to make a play. A minute 42 left here in the opening quarter. Caruso, the pass to Morris. Howard with it. Kuzma outside. Passes to Caruso. Shot clock at five. Over Trogic. They grab their own miss. Howard, first shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Dragic looking it over to the inside. Here's Leonard. That one's not going to go. Great D that time from Howell. Inside. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. And the Lakers lead by 19. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Dragic with a wide open look. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Here's Kuzma. And the Lakers get it back. That one good for two. Howard's got six. You know, it's going to be tough to win when you give the other team second and third opportunities to score the ball. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Yes, that goes in. Andre getting the offensive juices flowing. Just a confident player who likes taking those type of shots. Here's Caruso. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for Los Angeles. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
Well, Greg, we know he's already a solid score, but Kyle Kuzma spoke to us before the game about evolving his game. The biggest area of growth would definitely be on the defensive end and my playmaking ability. Um, this year, I'm just trying to uh, be a consistent defender, um, find my teammates, because um, I have so much attention offensively. So um, you know, I think those are two areas. Now having played with superstars, Kuzma is learning what it takes to win. He's getting only so many shots per game, so I, I applaud him for finding other ways to contribute to his team with an eye toward the greater goal. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And for the Lakers, this has been the game they wanted to have. Yeah, in that first period, they look to push in transition at every opportunity. That's their mindset. Attack, attack, and attack some more. You're not going to beat them playing soft. They've got Iguodala. Myers Leonard is out there with Jay Crum. And it's Drogic in at the point. So that's who Miami starts the second with. And the foul called on Markeith Morris. That's his first foul. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Rogic with it, now guarded by Caldwell Pope. And the quickness and long arms of KCP, he does a good job of getting into the shooter. Kuzma kicks to Caruso. A shot missing. Good defense by Iguodala. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. A different look for Miami. Adebayo is checked in for Jay Crowder. And it's Jimmy Butler coming in for Andre Iguodala. The Lakers also with a sub. James is checked in. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Leonard, the pass to Dragic. Six to shoot. Down it goes. That's four made from the field. He's four of eight. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. And it's James missing. The Heat trail by 17. The feed now to Dragic. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Dragic has got four points this quarter. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. And Kuzma gets it to go on the assist by James. James has got his fourth assist in this one. Pass to Dragic. Back to Butler. Latrey sinks the three-pointer. Butler's got seven. Jimmy Butler, not a pure long-range shooter, but good enough to keep defenses honest. There's the pass to LeBron. And James throws it down. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Outside Dragic. Silva, the pass to Butler. Caruso grabs the miss. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Frankie, we hear this a lot. It's almost too popular now to say good offense beats good defense. Being a defensive-minded player yourself, do you agree with that statement? Absolutely, oh, Kevin. And, and the thing take is, in today's game, Two shots. when I play, there was an era. You know, you could hold teams in the 80s and 90s. Uh, you could go a quarter and keep them at 12, 15 points. You can't do that now. It's different. You've got to be able to, to win stretches of two and three minutes. Uh, and, and honestly, you're right. It, the offense does dictate far more, uh, but it doesn't discount the importance of defense. And if you still look at the the reigning champs and the teams that have won titles recently, that's still one area that they're consistent in is their defensive approach. None against Bradley. None kicks to Buck. Back 
back to none. From outside, off the mark. And it's Davis with the ball for the Lakers. 22 is their biggest lead. James, the bounce pass. Floats it up for James. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. I mean, plenty of lift in those legs. LeBron never did the dunk contest. He just does it in a game. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, thank you. We were all witnesses last year to the pandemic. It struck with worldwide repercussions. The NBA was no exception. The 1920 season was altered, and this season was delayed. But the league is finding a sense of solidarity and resolve under the leadership of Adam Silver. Now sports is a microcosm of society as a whole, and we all are finding different ways to overcome this. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, DA. Jones checked in for the heat. One shot. That free throw good from Caldwell Pope. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. Robinson kicks to nine. Back to Robinson. Pass to Autobio. Off the run, it's hauled in by LeBron. James has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And you talk about guys who play with that chip on their shoulder. Bam Adebayo has not forgotten he was cut from the U.S. national team time out, time out. in 2019. And Greg, in fact, he told those Sorry. close to him they will pay a little extra motivation, fuel for the fire. And the Heat call time here. Steve, the days of Avery Bradley being a scorer are probably over. I mean, he, he scored in the mid-teens, we know that, but now I think they value his defense as much as his scoring. You're right, Kevin. Avery Bradley will rely on his athletics, especially to get to the rim to score. With his injuries and change in situation, the chances, they just haven't been there. But he's still an effective player. We just won't see his scoring outburst as often. in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. Miami with the ball. Pass to none. Butler on the way. Four on the shot clock. Trying to get something going. Great D that time from LeBron. And all quarter long, it's been the same story, inconsistent with his offense. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. First trip to the line for him here. Anthony Davis. Two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Davis. One of the most productive all-around players in the game. AD has already accomplished a lot individually. Next, winning. Catching up on the changes with Miami. Olenek comes in for Jones. And it's Tyler Hero in for Robinson. So he hits one of two from the strike. Miami's gone one of two on three-pointers here in the second quarter. So on their pass to Hero. Back to Butler. Over Green. Miami no good on that time either. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. I'll tell you, it's one thing to do this at home, another to do it in a hostile environment. They built up this huge league with great play at both ends. They're going to love watching film tomorrow. Now here's Butler. He's got seven. Here's Hero. 
Again, the miss by the Heat. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. All you see is a lot of frustration. Someone needs to step up and make a play to turn this thing around. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. The Lakers have knocked down eight of nine free throw attempts. I'd say those numbers read pretty well. Los Angeles making a switch here. Rondo's checked in. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. He's in attack mode, drawing contact now, getting to the line, something he didn't do at all in the first quarter. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. None kicks the butt. Over LeBron. No good again that time. What I like, he hasn't stopped competing despite the off night. And it's Davis finishing it off. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. This has been an impressive performance tonight. Even with a big lead, they maintain their focus. Now here's Butler. Seven points in the game. Over James. And count it from 19 feet away. Butler's got nine. Confidence, confidence. Jimmy Butler get to that spot. You won't be disappointed. To the paint. Here's Davis. And it's slammed in by Davis. They just won't miss. I mean, this is incredible. Good shooting can be contagious. You see the confidence running through this team right now. Now, here's Butler. Nine points in the game so far. And that one, good. 11 points in the game. If you're defending Jimmy Butler, you got to hit him harder than that. Rondo with it. Butler covering. James dishes to Rondo. He lobs it up, and it's McGee with the jam. And he pulls off the Houdini to bake that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley-oop. None passes to Olenek. Outside Butler. Pass to Hero. To the middle. Davis against none. No good from 11 feet. I like it. That's a great battle at the rim. He just couldn't finish. And Davis wide open. He shoots. Good. And it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got four assists in the game. And there's the pass to Hero. Adebayo kicks to Butler. Olenek beyond the arc. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. And they are absolutely stroking it from beyond the arc. Rondo finds McGee. Here's James, defended by Butler. James with the bucket. James has got 17 now. A guy that great, you have to make somebody else beat you. LeBron's been hot tonight. None against Rondo. McGee with the block. James, the pass to Davis. Olenek with the steal. None against Rondo. This is the Butler. James Butler no good the Lakers shooting 71 percent all in all in this one they've been brilliant offensively knocked loose and here we go it's Butler and he could not get that one to go a lot of contact and he'll go to the line for two Jimmy Butler used his body and muscle well to get the foul call and taken with the 30th pick back in 2011 Jimmy Butler went from 15th man in Chicago, riding the end of the bench, to franchise player in the course of four seasons. Two shots. Max on the first. 
That free throw good from Butler. And Greg, it seemed in Chicago and Minnesota, maybe Jimmy Butler wore out his welcome. Philadelphia, they had him and they had to juggle multiple stars. But man, Miami, the Heat handed him the keys and he has taken off. And Kevin, he's shown himself worthy, lifting them to a top seed in the East and himself into the MVP conversation. And, and as much as he commands attention on the court, Jimmy Butler content to skip the spotlight when he's off it. You know, G.A., nothing has come easy in his career for Jimmy Butler. All he does is puts his head down and works and works and works. And because of that work ethic, he has become an all-star. Love watching his progression. The defender took away the airspace, crowded him. That changed the shot. Crowder dishes to Dragic. Back to Crowder from outside the arc. That's it coming off an assist from Dragic. Dragic has got his third assist on the night. This is what Crowder loves to do. He's out there saying, set me up, please. Now here's Rondo. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Here's Kuzma. That shot off. And Miami the other way now. Butler kicks to Dragic. Back to Butler. McGee with the block. And they'll keep possession. Kuzma passes to Rondo. 15 seconds left to play in the first half. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Outside, Dragic takes the three, and the Heat, another three. Jimmy Butler is on it. Staying alert, finds his man breaking free. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers having no problems at all. Up 29 points heading into the next quarter. They've been playing some ferocious defense. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Coach, what has to happen to pull out the win? Well, we have to play through some of the tough times, okay? Whether it's a missed call or whether missed shots. Uh, this is a passionate game, and we got to stay the course. We'll see what happens. Thanks, Bo. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. So far, a pretty uh, lopsided game, but still one half to play. I'm Ernie Johnson, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. A tremendous game we're seeing from Anthony Davis. He ended up with 39 points, four rebounds, and two assists. This has been a bounce-back game for him after some struggles their last time out. What do you think, Kenny, about what we saw from the Lakers? This is what makes Anthony Davis so special. He's able to flex his muscle and use his superior mobility. One of the hardest guys in the league to match up with. Shaq, let's get your insight on Miami. Well, they're obviously facing a hot shooting team tonight. That combined with a lackluster effort on defense, recipe for disaster, Ernie. Without major improvements defensively, this game is O-V-A, over. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. You look at Anthony Davis in this game, he's been everywhere. And he's been a monster in this game, throwing down some huge dunks. And I wasn't sure the rim would even survive in that first half. And I can't wait to see what he has in store during this second half. Some of those jams were downright absurd. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. So the Lakers five right now. Green and LeBron at the two and the three. JaVel McGee is out there with Anthony Davis, and it's Bradley in at the point guard position. This is the shot you want to get him, an open look from range. James way outside, trying to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Loads it up for Adebayo. It's stolen by Davis. 
Throws it up high, and the slam dunk by McGee. He could have tried to force a shot there. Instead, LeBron keeps his eyes up, finds an open teammate. Rogic finds Jones. Second half rolling along now. About a minute played here. It's stolen by Green. LeBron, good. James has got 19 points. Continuing to stoke the fire. This shot making has been absolutely superb. In the corner, it's Robinson. No good on the three. Lakers have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. On the wing, James, defended by Butler. Feeds it to Davis. Kicks it out to Bradley. Just five to shoot. Off target with his three. Miami's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Robinson against Green. Here's Autobio. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's on JaVale McGee. This is where Bam goes to work which in turn draws the D's attention. The Heat shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on that one. Man, you know Bam Adebayo knows his role. Doesn't play outside of himself. And he's a quality teammate, too. Markeith Morris has checked in for JaVale McGee. And the second free throw, good. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Outside Bradley. Passes it to Morris. And they double up Davis. A three from Bradley. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got three assists now in this one. Outside Butler. Rogic the pass to Autobio. Robinson finds Autobio. Shot clock at six. But they'll get another chance. Jones against Davis. Left side, Jones over Davis. And again, it's the Heat missing. Shaky start to the half. Going one for four. Still trying to find that groove. You won't find a much better alley-oop partner. AD flying to the rim. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And Butler, here we go. LeBron with the block. Very cold start to the second half. One for five, looking for some continuity. Bradley passes to Green. Here's Morris. And no good. Rockets with some nice D. Robinson dishes to Butler. Jones trying to get open. Second chance shot. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. And it's in there. Lakers have gone four of seven to get things started here in the second half. Inside and block. That one goes careening off the glass. The reach of Bam Adebayo is off the charts. Using it well with that block. And no matter what they've tried, the D just has not been able to deny them the ball inside. The Heat have put up good numbers at the charity strike, converting six of seven. And the Heat making a change here. Silva's checked in, and the Lakers also making a switch. Contavious Caldwell Pope. He's checked in for Green. Free throw no good for Butler. From the 30th pick in the draft to perennial all-star, Jimmy Butler has come a long way in a short period of time. And is it any wonder they're ahead in this game? His perfect night from the field has been the catalyst. Here's Dragic. Following the basket by Anthony Davis. Adebayo finds Butler. Back to Adebayo. Pocket six. Here's Robinson. And finished off by Robinson. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big-time move and a big-time finish. 
And Adebayo sends it back. Outside Dragic. And he lays it straight in. Dragic has got 16 points. They are just killing him on the interior. Caldwell Pope outside. Back to LeBron. Lakers working the ball around now. And there's Morris. That's good on the assist by Davis. Davis has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. There's Trogic with the three. Morris with the rebound. Morris has got four rebounds in this game. Now James. 19 points in the game. Shoots over Trogic. The offensive rebound. He'd have gone 5 of 12 from the field since the third quarter got underway. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's what you get from Jimmy Butler. Consistently a tireless worker and driving the ball to the hoop. He's made two of his three attempted tonight. Solid work at the line a season ago. 83% on his opportunities. He's off on the first. Some changes for the Lakers. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for Markeith Morris. Kyle Kuzma comes in for LeBron. And it's Alex Caruso in for Bradley. And he's good on the second. The Lakers have gotten six of their 12 shots to drop for him here in the second half so far. Here's Caruso, defended by nine. Business like focus, AD presents a big target on the roll. Bucket. And none has got the ball here for the Heat. Here's the teardrop. Rebounded by the Lakers. Howard's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Trying to get open is Davis. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And it'll be his fourth time going to the free throw line in the game. And the first one at the line is good. We have much improved foul shooter KCP also starting to get to the line at a higher rate. And Miami making a change here. Iguodala is checked in. Ajan Rondo is checked in for the Lakers. And he can't hit the second. Miami's gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. Six of 13. And here's none. And the shot is good. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. Rondo kicks to Caldwell Pope. Back to Rondo. Pass to Caruso. To the paint. Here's Howard. And he finishes nicely on the layup. Howard's got 10 points in the game. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been all. Now, here's none. And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And now, let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And that's what a team needs when they're trailing. Energy on D. the heat now. Zero. No good on the triple. Caldwell Pope against Iguodala. Iguodala with the steal. Down low. Here's Crowder. And it's sent back by Howard. And he's led the league in block shots on multiple occasions. And 
Howard still a presence down low. Five to shoot. shoot it. Tries again. Hands are the ball out of bounds. Howard touched it last. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Lakers have gone 8 of 14 on their shot attempts here in the third. Some pretty nice work. Rondo against Nunn. The pass to Kuzma. Here's Caruso. Five on the clock. Rondo with the ball. I'm not sure the defense affected that shot. That was just a blown gimme. And you look at the career shooting percentages for Myers Leonard. 48% from the field, 39% from three-point range, and over 80 from the free throw line. How is he averaging less than 20 minutes a game for his career? You know, G.A., he's probably asking the same question. But what I do love is he does the little things. And in scoring, he's efficient. He's earning his keep. Has a chance one day to be a 50-40-90 guy. L.A.'s gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Crystal blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. For Los Angeles, they have been getting it done at the line. Ten for 12. None has got the ball here for the Heat. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Rondo with some nice D. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Now here's Rondo. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Here's Caruso. Off target from three-point range. Miami's gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. Now, here's none. He has six. Hero passes to Crowder. The shot, no good. One thing we've seen from these guys is excellent passing. No doubt about it. It's fun to watch the way they're operating as a team right now. They are all in sync. Yeah, and Superman taking flight for the lob finish. None passes to Leonard. None with it. He's covered by Rondo. Heat moving the ball around. To stop the run, and he lays it up and in. Crowder's got his second bucket of the night. Jay Crowder, not the biggest guy, but he's crafty in the painted area. Knows how to get his shot. Rondo passes to Kuzma. Over none. And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. He goes to the bounce pass there. Nice rhythm at the end of the play. None passes to Leonard. He kicks to Crowder. Now, here's none. Pass to Hero. And it's off from three-point range. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Aldwell Pope with a wide-open look. No good with the triple. None against Rondo. None passes to Crowder. From deep, no good. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with a huge 37-point lead to end the quarter. A look at the field goal percentage numbers tells the story of what tough defense they're playing today. 
We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Creating plays for others. It's an art form, but it's also a discipline. Fantastic job. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. They've got Derek Jones, Kendrick Nunn out there with Igudala. Then there's Myers Leonard, and it's Crowder in at the small forward position. That's the group on the floor for Miami. Now here's Igudala, and it's slammed in by Jones. Iggy just keeping his head up on his swivel all the time. Cook dishes to McGee. Passes it to Morris. And it's out of bounds. The Lakers able to retain possession here. You love the pressure he's putting on them. Almost had that steal. Fantastic anticipation. He has active hands. Even though he doesn't come away with the turnover, he's disrupting their offensive flow. Hill, he's checked in for Jay Crowder. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Bradley's checked in. In the corner, Smith with it. Shot clock at six. And the three off target. And so it's none with it. He brings it up for the Miami Heat. One minute now into this fourth quarter. Yes! Bradley with some nice D. Lakers shooting 61% from the field. Showing some marvelous touch out there. And it's Miami with the rebound. Hill with it. Now guarded by Bradley. And out of, out of bounds, bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. The Heat making a switch here. For Los Angeles, they've gone 0 of 3 to start the fourth quarter. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. That one falls. Beautiful job by Avery. Hits the roller in stride where he can do something with it. Here's Dragic. There's the dish to Olenek. Miami no good on that time either. For Los Angeles, they've gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. Got a piece of it. And it goes out of bounds. That went off Robinson. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. The Heat shooting at 36% on the night. They've got to step it up offensively. Smith against Hill. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's on JaVale McGee. Solomon Hill. Two. Shooting two. That free throw missing. No good at the stripe this time. Second misses also. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. And the Heat making a change here. Silva's checked in. Free throw good from Bradley. 
A lot to like about Avery Bradley's game. Terrific on ball defender, solid spot up shooter, and will get you some boards as well. Here's Silva. He dishes it to Dragic. Shot to stop the run. Rebound the Lakers. McGee's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Bradley can't get it to go. For Miami, they've gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the stripe. And really trying to work the ball inside here and starting to get results. A lot of that offense coming in the paint here in the second half. One shot. And that one falls for Jones. Here is Cook. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. Shooting for Los Angeles. Quinn Cook. At the line for two. That's good from Cook. And so Cook nails both of them. And it's Dragic with the ball for Miami. the block to the inside Bradley he scores his fifth field goal he's taken nine shots to get those five well if it ain't broke don't fix it they keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently Bradley against Robinson five to shoot puts up a three Rebound by Cook. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. And it's McGee with the jam. And he's now got the double-double. 10 points and 11 rebounds. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. And the basket is good. That's nice work. Stopping short of the rim. Just laying it over the top. Here is Cook. Kicks it to Morris. Smith on the wing. Back to Morris. Nailed from three-point land. Morris has got five points now this quarter. A late reaction defensively. He quickly takes advantage. Grows their lead. You can't afford to give him space. Those kinds of mistakes have been the story of this game. He's been of no help stretching the floor tonight. Just one three in the first half, nothing in the second. Well, overall, they're the team getting the better looks here in this second half. For them, the first half was maybe more of a filling out process. Now it's winning time. Now here is Robinson. A nice shot by Silva. Silva's got his first points of the night. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. And McGee kicks to Cook. Pass to Smith. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That one on Olenek. As athletic as he is, JR doesn't average many free throws. Much more of a long range bomber.
the first free throw is good. You know how accurate JR is from three. That's how relatively inaccurate he can be from the line sometimes. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Miami has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Dragic the pass to Robinson. Back to Dragic. The pass to Silva. Robinson against Smith. And he makes that one. And you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game. Pass to Smith. Baseline jumper. Jump shot is good that time. Smith's got four this quarter. And the defense makes a mistake right there. You gotta stick to JR. His mindset is to score. Here's Drogic from outside. Hands it from downtown. It's enough to where you have to respect him. Had one triple in the first half. Now has his second. the pass to Morris. It's blocked. And it's out of bounds. The Lakers able to retain possession here. Rajon Rondo is checked in for Los Angeles. Here's McGee. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Well, how can you not love the continued resurgence of JaVale McGee? There were some years where he was trying to figure it out. Now he's a big factor for this team at center. First free throw is good. You know, Smitty, the change for McGee is pretty simple. He got some direction on how to play. Now he does everything he can to play within himself. Kevin, that has been a huge difference maker for JaVale McGee. And you know when he's focused, he can make an impact. Plays in short bursts, but very effective. And so he's able to get one of two. But he'd have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the fourth and even 50%. Hill kicks to Robinson. It's back to Hill. It's over McGee. McGee with the block. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Kendrick Nunn, he's checked in for the heat. For Los Angeles, they've gone 8 of 13 from the field since the start of the fourth, sinking the majority of their shots. Here's Rondo. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That went on Olenek. Love Rondo down there on the block. Nice move to catch the D off guard. And he makes the first. You know, Rondo takes great pleasure at slicing and dicing up the defense. One of the best passers in the game. Leonard, he's checked in for Miami. And Rondo drops them both. Here's none. It's taken away by Smith. is off the left iron. Miami has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line.
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Both good from the line that time. Here is Cook. Morris outside to the middle. Here's McGee and the slam dunk by McGee. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Now here's Nunn. D right on him and he gets the bucket. Nunn's got four points in the quarter. After a lackluster first half, he's taken charge offensively. We'll see how the defense responds. Rondo finds McGee. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Six to shoot. Here's Cook. Rebound by the Heat. Hill deciding where to go with it. Passes to Leonard. And here's none. Here's Hero. Stolen. Here is Cook. With the floater. And the rejection by Leonard. Floats one. And the layup good by none. None's got 10 points in just the second half. L.A. has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Here is Cook. Pass to Smith. Six on the shot clock. Morris right side. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. And so it's not with it. He brings it up for the Heat. 153 left to play in the final quarter. Good on the triple. Hero's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. This is really what separates Tyler Hero as a player. The confidence and touch from deep. Stolen by none. Pushing it up. All alone, throws down the breakaway jam. Love the recognition, realizes that one is all him. Sometimes that's the call. You want to be unselfish, but even more so, you want to be effective. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Lakers. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget, and on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And what a tremendous Shoot standout two. performance it was for Anthony Davis. Hard not to be impressed by what he did tonight. He was aggressive, he was efficient, and the defense had no answer. Free throw drops for Hill. Andre Iguodala. He's checked in for Hero. The Lakers also making some changes. Dwight Howard. He's checked in for JaVale McGee. And it's Alex Caruso in for Rajon Rondo. Both free throws good from Hill. 114 left in the fourth quarter. Cook looking it over. A floater, and Silva pulls it down. There is the value of great rim protection without fouling, forcing the miss. Now, none. Shot clock at six. Chalk up two there. On the heels of this run, you wonder where was this effort earlier on? Well, the question becomes, are they playing that much better now, or has their opponent taken the rest of the night off? Now, here is Smith. From 10 feet out, 
Crane for two points. Yeah, they suck the energy out of this arena. Tremendous effort on the road. And when you're on the road, you can't be tentative coming into a game like this. I thought their aggressive approach was the difference. You know, a, a good job by the defender of not getting fooled by the step back, but he still got the shot to fall. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise for the kind of win they did tonight. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline.